Hi guys, it's another Drake Outdoor Adventures video today, and today we are going to be showing you how to um, skin a beaver and um, take the meat off of it. Got the opening cut, you slice down, you cut around this, and you cut down more, and then you cut around the tail. We haven't done the hands yet. Well, the feet. Now I can get to skinning the beaver. You, you, once you did the opening cuts, you can just, I start with this part because uh, I think it's easier when it, in the steps, you gotta do, uh, well, the other steps. Once you start to get down here, and you can stop at the bottom, and then when we'll do the other side, try to pop it through the legs, maybe try to pop it through the tail, and do this side, and then you flip it over and do the back. The back is easy, because, well, I finish this, and then I hang the fur over the edge, and then it's easier because it puts more pressure on the skin. Do, do. Beaver skin are really, really tough. Well, hard to get through. So, it's not going to be as easy to go through it. The skin. As, like, raccoon. Um possum or coyote or bobcat like this video don't forget to click well hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe tell us tell us anything about your if you have caught a beaver how big was it is it big was it tough to skin? Did you eat it? Beaver are really, really good. They're underneath the bobcat, I'm pretty sure. Well, that's what other people say. Beaver is really good. Leave that there. And start working on the front leg. To me, sometimes I think the front leg is harder. 
because of all the fat and stuff. Oh. All the stuff was blocking the actual leg. But sometimes if it's a skinny small beaver, they're easy. Well, there almost isn't a such thing as a skinny beaver. Okay, that's the longest a beaver should take. Well, yeah. Let's start on this side now. And beaver gets tiring. The belly, this chunk, is the easiest, well, not the easiest, but the second easiest. The back, once you get past here, then you can just, until you get to here, gotta finish that, and then when you get to here, hang on, and on the other side there's ears, and then when you get up to here, it, it, well, it's easy. Get to the eyes, then you go up here, it's easy, and then you get to the nose. So, yeah. I hope you guys understand what trapping is. And trapping really isn't bad. It If we didn't have trapping, there'd be way too much animals and then a lot of animals would die. Because animals other animals carry stuff like stuff that could kill them and if they spread it and there's a lot of animals, that means that whole population might be gone. Even other populations. Just like that. The more there are, the more chances there are of getting, getting mowed down. To like two, three, maybe four. Maybe 400. But trapping, we still save many, many, many animals. But we can't trap. Well, we could, but they're smart. And by doing this, it helps people by, yeah, by helping us. It helps, well, you help the animals by trapping, 
and you help other people by trapping. So, and at the end, it all works out. Well, usually you're helping people. Cause this side was a lot quicker. Here, I'll move it. There it is. Okay, there you guys. You guys might turn down for a second. People trap beaver and then they just throw it away. Don't do that. I mean, you don't have to eat the big ones because the big ones, the, well, the smaller it is, the better it tastes. This one is a smaller one. back straps are not big because right this is the ribs right here and then the farther you go you're just this is rib meat and it's not that much of that okay that side's done now the back leg. Okay. you get the meat off of it two of those equals a full bucket of meat but for the size of this that's not a lot of meat 
but they don't have a lot of meat because they're mostly just stomach. Don't expect on a beaver to get like a full meal off of it because if you if you have a lot of people you if they're eating beaver you might need a couple just to be a little bit And you stop it right here, right here, because if you get down here, it's gonna not gonna taste good. If you're asking why we don't take the front legs, front legs, they're vine, they're, they're veins in them, and veins don't taste very good. I'll get this beaver out of here. I'll clean up this mess. Then I don't know.